Hello, this is a video about the geometrical parameters for a glazing bead type profile. This is our test glazing bead drawing and this one is a generic drawing of a glazing bead in a RAW workshop. Unlike other profiles where all the parameters need to be filled out, uh, for the glazing bead you only need to fill out uh, H2, H, W1 and W. Let's start with H2. This is the practical height of the profile, measured from here to here. Um, H2 is the practical height, is the height of the profile without this clips which usually goes into the frame, the sash or the mullion. So we will measure it from here to here and as we can see for this glazing bead um, it is 20 millimeters. So we will complete it over here. Uh, let me show you some examples of how the glazing bead is uh, placed. This is on top of a frame for a fixed uh, window. This is on top of the mullion, also for a fixed window. So the H2 can be measured from here to here or from here to here. And this is a glazing bead placed on a sash for a moving uh, window. Now, let's talk about W1. W1 is the practical width of the profile. Uh, it should mean uh, how much space the glazing bead will take. As you can see in our test uh, drawing, uh, this quotation is 25 millimeters. We will set it up over here. Um, H and W, you can see them over here, are the total uh, height and width of the profile. So H will be the sum between the between H2, which is 20 millimeters, and the height of the clips over here should be about six millimeters and we will put over here 26 millimeters um, okay and w as you can see in the drawing uh, will be equal to w1 so we can just press the plus sign and it will compute it automatically okay w1 W. Uh, however, they can differ for other glazing bead, W1 and W. Okay, this is all you need to know about uh, the geometrical parameters for a glazing bead.